What's going on, guys? Bandolier here, back to another BO. I'm gonna set MB3 BO6 live commentary video today. We're playing Search on Vorkuta, probably one of the best search maps in my opinion. One of the only ones I've actually played, um, to be real. Um, so today is the seventh of uh November. It's at two o'clock on a Thursday. So, today, the new, the new, uh, season for, for Black Ops 6 has, um, Let me go. Of course he shoots the fuck out of me first. And my teammate's a blind idiot. Uh, the new season one coming out next week. Um, I'll just go over some of it for you got. One, two, 6v6 multiplayer maps. We got two 6v6, 2v2 maps, like the small map shit. Face-off maps. Teammate's blind, he's looking at his phone, he's an idiot. Um, and then Black Black Ops 4 map, Hacienda. Um, that actually was one of the better maps from uh, Black Ops 4. Not that I played a lot of... I played about 43 levels of Black Ops 4. That was that was probably one of the better ones, but... Yeah, that one's coming back. Nuketown Holiday. The Hand Cannon Score Streak is coming back. It's just basically a Desert Eagle kill streak. Um, pretty cool. Uh, I'll go over some more after this. Um, after this... Uh, round. No way, I'm already getting... Peek me! Yeah, there's too many douchebags over here. My fucking teammates! Where the fuck are my teammates at? Alright. Oh, awesome. Thanks. I love my phone sometimes. So fucking annoying. Very, very actually. Yeah, this is my fucking team. Wow. Thanks, guys. Um, we got a new perk coming in. It's called Shadow. I think there's another perk, too, coming in. And then there's another wild card high roller where you can get four. Instead of three kill streaks, you can get four. Uh, zombie stuff, Warzone. I guess they're integrating all of MW2, MW3, and Black Ops 6 weapons. And speaking of weapons, we'll get there in another round. Don't you love it? I fucking love my team right now. I, every time I play, every time I play this game mode, it's like always like the same story. <laughs> Love it, dude. I fucking love it. Teammates are all the same. Jesus. And I'm gonna blow up to a barrel. I don't think Ninja is working as intended either, which is actually bothering me. Um, what? Only one enemy standing. Find them. End them. Imagine. Ugh. Securing up for a final push. That would be so nice, man. It'd be so nice to hit that. 
Uh, I'm very excited to announce that the Krig 6 is coming back. And the Mac 10 is also coming back. The Krig C, the SOG, the Power Drill. The Siren 9mm looks like an FMG 9. The Maelstrom Shotgun and a fucking meat cleaver. We also have one more that I'm very, very excited to announce. Also, I'm not excited to announce the Krig is coming back, nor am I excited to announce the fucking Mac 10. If you guys remember season one of Black Ops 4 at all, or Black Ops Cold War at all, that's all that was. Was fucking. Oh my god! You fucking kidding me? Dude, where is the recoil at? Where Where is it? I, I want to know. But ladies and gentlemen, I have cried enough to these developers on each on uh, each development team every single year for the last four years of my life since Cold War. The Barrett 50 cal has returned. My glorious king has returned. The AMR mod MOD 4 is back. Whatever that fucking means. Anti-material rifle mod. I was thinking, um, it was called Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, so to replace the C in COD and put it as mod 4. Get it? Mod 4. X fucking D. Anyway, there's also some aftermarket parts, but I'm gonna read to you guys what the AMR mod is. Semi-auto sniper rifle. One shot kill to the torso, arms, hands, and upper legs. With some very high vertical recoil and slow rate of fire, you can steady your aim while aiming down sight. There's a little bit more to, there's a little bit more to it than that, but that is their description for whenever you go into the, like the like gunsmith and you look at like the description. Um, there you go, boys. Scout pulse, baby. That's my teammate. What a fucking ass clown. Unbelievable. Uh, that's unfortunate that I have a shitty angle that I can't fucking do anything with. Got it. Um, so here is the description of what they want to call the AMR mod for. The hardest hitting weapon in its class. So automatically this weapon is going to be the most damage wise to enemy players. It's going to be the hardest hitting weapon in the game. Okay. This sniper rifle rewards patience with a huge one shot elimination range across the upper body. It is slow to aim which is sad to hear. Uh, and it kicks hard, also sad to hear. Um, but when the shot connects, say goodbye to the enemy, inflicting major damage out to 100 meters. Now, in terms of uh, playing the fucking maps of Black Ops 6, that matters about zero. So basically, this is a war zone... What they're, what they're telling us here, it rewards patience with a huge one-shot elimination range. 100 meters? There's no 100 meter spot on a single map other than maybe red card. Maybe red card, or maybe rewind. May, actually, you know what? Rewind, I guarantee you, is a 100 meter place. Wow. I just, it's an automatic... Yep, I can't do anything. Everyone's everyone's looking at me. 
Anyway. My teammates won't help me. Look at these kids. What are you guys doing? Um, so automatically I'm just thinking like, okay, ADS is slow, but everything about it is like damage-wise great, and recoil sucks. Obviously. Barrett recoil. Obviously Barrett, Barrett in real life actually has decent recoil for a 50 cal because it has recoil stuff on it. You know, um, even though it is 50 cal, it's, it's still, it's still hard hitting, but it's, you know, not horrible. Like, oh, I'm playing at level 15. Enemy unit um. But yeah. Its selection of close-range optics also offers the possibility of a fighting in the Vanguard, a... Vertible... Vertible... V-E-R-I-T-A-B-L-E. Frontline cannon. Whatever the hell that means. I've never seen that word in my entire life, but yeah. Hopefully the ADS is below... 700 milliseconds and can get maybe 500 something milliseconds. I, I hope to God that it, it does. But I have a very bad feeling about the fact that, you know, it's possible. Uh, I think it's I think it's a very, very possible. I think it's very fucking reasonable. Look at this piece of fucking shit, dude. I fucking hate these players so fucking much. How am I supposed to trickshot anything? I think it's very possible that this gun has at least 600 milliseconds base ADS speed, like the LR762. Probably more. Probably more than that. Um... But obviously has like the best damage, right? So it, it automatically it easily gets Time one shots. But you're gonna have a real tough time trying to trying to actually Sniper's get down. those kills if you're running into people. You might have to hard scope. Actually, you're going to have to hard scope more than likely. I can't believe this idiot doesn't hear this person. For Christ's sake, man, it's pretty obvious. Both guys are really fucking loud. Wow. Uh, I just... My teammates... I, I get kills during the... Look at me. Top of the leaderboard. But yeah, I... If I were... if Here's me. If I was Treyarch... I would give the Barret less damage than what they're giving it. And I would give it more ADS speed so it can compete with the other weapons of this game. Because the way it's sounding is that A has a slow rate of fire for his semi-automatic snipe rifle. What the fuck does that even mean? And two... Um... Why? And two, the ADS speed's gonna be fat, slower than almost every weapon that kills you in the game. So... Dude, oh my god! No, 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 this is unfair. The SMGs are broken. That would totally kill me twice before I get ADS with a Barrett. If they're saying what I'm thinking they're saying. Okay? To the right, moron. To the right, moron. To the left now, moron. Okay. So, what I'm thinking is that the ADS speed is going to be so slow that you're not even going to be able to aim down sight in time to A, quick scope with this fucking gun. Which is not going to be fair and balanced. I I'm sorry to say, but it... No matter what anyone tells me, that is going to be unfair and unbalanced. I hope they realize what they're doing, and I hope... 
I hope the ADS speed isn't what I'm thinking they're gonna do, especially with the amount of damage they have. Reminder Seven Jack business day ADS with fucking truck-like damage running into you, but you're not gonna be able to like, en enjoy it or use it. I can't see him. I can't see him! My teammate won't move either! I can't see him! No, 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 I I'm actually gonna get pissed off right now. I can't see a single person. My fucking teammates won't fucking help me. Fuck these teammates, man. It's just fucking horrible. Wow. That took way too long. There you go. You're so lucky. I don't know if I'll ever get a trick shot opportunity this game or not. I've... I've barely gotten opportunities, guys. I, I promise. I, I barely. And I've barely had fast hands enough to actually do something with, you know, stuff like that. MPC's so. In the red. It's now or never. I don't know why nobody grabbed bomb. I guess their teammates are stupid. But yeah, I'm hoping and praying to God that in the mid-season update. When we get the Barrett, that it's not literally one of the worst fucking sniper rifles. Because if it's if it's incredibly slow, if it's slower than the LR, how much slower can it be before it can't even compete? Because with the fastest LR762 class that I am willing to use in core, it sorry, in in multiplayer respawn multiplayer. Not including a four-round mag that increases ADS or that decreases ADS speed too. I'm wondering how slow it can get to where I can actually compete because I want to be able to compete in this game. But if I can't compete, then I I don't know. I don't really know what's what's really worth it or not. I'm getting stunned. I'm getting stunned. Yep. Do you want to take my picture? Cuz I won't remember. Do you want to take my picture? Cuz I won't remember. Let's go. Trick shot time, bitch. Nice. You're a piece of shit. Yeah. Awesome. I love how my gun doesn't even pull up in time for for me to even shoot. That's that's another problem. Fast hands isn't working as intended. Uh. I have a fucking a barrel here. I have a barrel on that actually is exactly the reason why I should be able to do that. Jumping aim down sight speed, jumping sprint to fire speed. Why the fuck can I sprint and f why can't I do my s shot mid air? It's not letting me shoot. <sighs> Look at my stupid fucking teammate, dude. You know he's gonna plant B, you dumbass bastard. He killed me over by B, you dumbass bastard. God damn, I love to take the victory. Whatever. Uh, I finally get a chance and he's literally on top of my body, dude. And and my gun doesn't pull out in time. So like I'm fucked. Why can't I leave the match here, guys? If, why is this a feature? Why is this a feature? Is it cause skill base is trying to like, you know, stop me from leaving so it calculates everything 12 and 9 12 and 9 gameplay I, I wonder what they're trying to calculate now how how much they can calculate and make sure i get screwed um yeah very excited for i don't know i don't know when it'll be i don't how much xp did i just get uh, did it say 22 thousand XP Where did that am I missing it guys 22 grand 
Okay, I think I got 22 grand from that game. Finally, I can have the class that I want now. Yay! But I can't even insta-swap, because guess what? I literally just... I can't insta-swap, because I... Even if you do... I don't know, it's just not... It's not fast enough. So I can't even... You can't even do it. It's, it's actually broken. It's stupid. So, I have to wait till they fix... They patch stuff, because fast hands isn't fast enough either. Fast hands should be fast, but insta-swap should be instant, and it's like... Whenever you do an insta swap, it's like you're just doing a fast hand swap. It's not instant, it's not fast, it's you know, it's just it's whatever. It's not it's just a swap. It sucks. But yeah. So when I, here here's my thing. Here's my thing. When they say damage, right? The CHF barrel on this is I think the perfect example. See how you get a one shot to like the kneecaps to above every everything else too? You don't get the fucking shins to feet. You get the kneecaps up. Everything. So, right there, I'm going to assume that right there is the damage range. I see, even with the ADS quick draw um, riser thing I have, or stock pad, whatever it is, 500, um, okay, I'll just say 600 millisecond aim down sight speed. 600 millisecond. That's with that damage barrel on it, okay? Now, maybe they have something that reduces the damage to maybe just the stomach and hands, but not the legs. So you get ADS speed back, but you lose that damage to the you lose that damage multiplier. So that's what I'm thinking, and I'm hoping that maybe that's true. Um, cause honestly, if we're just working with one little, one little ADS speed thing here, uh, we might as well just go fuck ourselves and just hard scope. Uh, I'll tell you what though, it'll be the best, uh, trick shotting sniper rifle that I'll be using. I'll be very excited to trick shot with that. Just as much as I'm excited to trick shot with these two guns here and maybe this, maybe this, maybe, probably not, but these two at least. I also have not gotten diamond on this dumb gun yet. I don't really want to use it anymore. I find I actually really am liking the frost line again. For some reason, I, I'm enjoying the frost line more than I am the LR. Um, but they're both really, they're both pretty good. I'll give you my class setup here. So the LR class setup is the exact same as the um, LW3 class setup for trick shotting at least. Is, and for respawn, too. I have found that this is probably one of the best setups I could do. Ported compensator, for some reason, makes me feel good inside. Um, short barrel. Short barrel so you can ADS and jump. I, I've i been hitting a lot of in-air shots. I've also been hitting a lot of jump shots, too. Um, there's nothing to help with accuracy, so I guess, you, you know, whatever. But jumping straight to fire speed also helps, too. Uh, precision handguard, this is for your aiming idle sway and horizontal recoil. I know you can't see it because I can't, quite frankly, I can't see it either. Cinemag 1 for more ammo. Uh, it's necessary. Quick draw grip, you already know. Oh, minus, minus 3 on the flinch resistance? Well, when was that a thing? This has not been a thing this whole time. Are you fucking kidding me? Has this been a thing the whole time? Minus 3 on the flinch. No, 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 no. Oh, wow. There's a nerf to sniping. I didn't even notice that. That's a huge nerf to sniping. Are you fucking kidding me? So the fastest ADS thing gives you more flinch. Oh my god, I actually didn't notice that. Well, that's great. Uh, they hate sniping. Alright. Um, quick draw grip, yeah, for now. Uh, combat stock to help with the flinch and aim walk movement speed. It's kind of nice to have sometimes. Um, so when I'm when I'm trick shotting, steady aim laser. When I'm not trick lot, when I'm not trick shotting, stray lock laser. If you're not good at pop shotting, get good with it because this is still pretty good. When I say pop shotting, this is what I mean. So pop shotting, as in I'm going into ADS, but I'm not all the way ADS. Did ADS did right there. That's full ADS. Right? See the crosshairs right there. 
Right there. Right, oh. Right there. This one's a little bit hard to do. Right there. Right there. Right there. But yeah. Um, so focus focus on your centering. But if you're trick shotting, go steady aim because it reduces your uh, hip fire from um, 18 down to uh, 1350. So that's hip fire max spread. And rapid fire for obvious reasons. Who wants a slow gun? I don't. Uh, GS45, uh, best pistol in the game. Um, I don't have my full complete class yet. I also would I would also like to get um, a Kimbo. So that's all. That's not really my uh, main thing, but yeah, regular knife because I, I don't care. A two. Also, I realize this is a two hit. Um, if I hit someone in the head with a baseball bat, like let's say someone, this this is an aluminum baseball bat. I have an aluminum baseball bat in my room. If someone breaks and enters into my house, and I hit them in the head, I I think it's going to be a one shot kill. Um, so shock charge two. Um, I also like I I I use you know stuns. Um, but. Shock charges, though, for sure, now. Semtex, because God knows what else I'd really want to use. I don't want to use a combat, a combat axe. Assault pack, because also in Search and Destroy, I don't know what else to use. Maybe Last Stand, if I was really feeling anxious. Um, for now, though, my perk setup is going to be Ninja, Fast Hands, and Quartermaster. So I can A, A for... Uh, ninja, so I'm not heard. Even though Ninja right now, I can still be heard, which is very broken. Fast hands to swap. I want to be able to swap my guns fast. I don't want to do over the shoulders. Uh, quartermaster to recharge my equipment. I want to be able to throw more shock charges and shit. I want to have multiple shock charges. And, and I have Gunfighter on. I want Gunfighter. I want to have as many attachments as I can on my gun because that's how you have to uh, build your gun this year, sadly. Same thing for the frost line. Porta compensator, short barrel, precision stock pad for the aiming idle sway and horizontal recoil. Yes, I think that is the one. Uh, extended mag one, quick draw riser, which might change to uh, the commando riser very, very soon. Combat stock. This is I'm telling you, flinch resistance and aim movement speed. Steady aim laser and rapid fire. Okay. Uh, same exact perk setup, um, same exact secondary setup, you know, everything else set up. Like I said, the only thing that changes between this is the Straylock laser, okay? Straylock laser, this is for my respawn gameplay. Um, and this is trick shotting, this is respawn. So, just all you have to do is just change your laser if you're going from respawn to trick shot. If you're going to trick shot. Okay. Um, yeah, for now, I'm Prestige 1, level 42. Um, I'm getting there. I finally got, you know, the harp. Um, yeah. I think my next Prestige unlock is going to be Fast Hand, so I'm sick and tired of not being able to do that. But yeah, my KD, I have a 1.03, and my Prestige 1, I have a point. 1.03. This is actually my best, uh, best COD yet for doing stuff. Um, but also, I think it has something to do with the uh, limb, a limb, a limbs elimination slash death ratio thing. I think it accounts as uh, it account it counts assists as kills. Um, which, if they didn't do that, I wonder what it would be. I think it probably wouldn't be as good. Because I get, I've get i gotten so many fucking hit markers, it's not even funny. Um, but yeah. We're going to take it, though. Uh, I'm going to take it. Um, so yeah. 30, 33 hours on the game. Like, an, a day, and I don't know why they did the hours. Uh, I think it's supposed to be one day, and like what... 
10 hours maybe. No, almost. Nine hours. Whatever. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are excited for the Barrett. I am very excited, even though I'm scared of the ADS. Uh, I'm going to take it all in on the day that it, the re, the season comes out. Hoping that they do something with Sniper ADS. No, sorry. With Snipers in general. On Season uh, 1 release day next week. Should be thurs next Thursday, I hope. Maybe not, hopefully not Friday. I saw somebody complaining about the 15th. I didn't see anything about the 15th. It's supposed to be the 14th of November. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been Bandolier. Later.